What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of my favorite weapons in all of Fault 76. We have the Pepper Shaker. Starting off with the weapon, this is it. This is my 3 star legendary Pepper Shaker that we're using for the video, and the main legendary effect is the anti-armor effect, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has a plus 50% to limb damage, and it also has a plus 1 to agility. This Pepper Shaker is insane, whether you're a high health or low health build. And the mods that we're using with it is the Hex Barrel, Laser Magazine, Gunner Sight, and the Default Appearance. Now there are a few other mods that you can use with this weapon, starting off on the barrel, we have the dual barrel which is improved rate of fire improved damage we have the hex barrel which is one we're using it has a superior rate of fire and decreased damage then we also have the single barrel which is fires more pellets per shot but it absolutely sucks over the magazine there are three different magazines that you can use with the weapon starting off we have the standard magazine which is just regular shotgun shells we have the laser magazine which adds energy damage and changes ammo type to fusion cells then we also have the plasma magazine which adds energy damage and changes type to plasma cartridges now i personally recommend the laser magazine and just because because they do the exact same damage as a plasma magazine, but the fusion cells do way less. Over in the build, these are the base stats that make up my in-game full health pepper shaker build, so if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over in the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game pepper shaker build that we're using for the video. Starting off in strength, we have 15, and this one can have all the heavy gunner cards and shotgun cards at 2 star to get the max amount of damage out of this build. We have blocker maxed out, take 45% to less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 3, and this one can have skeet shooter maxed out. Your shotguns have excellent accuracy and spread. Over in endurance, we have 8 and this one can have life giver maxed out. Gain a total of plus 45 to your maximum health. We have convened at 1 star. Any Kinji take lasts 30% longer and we are taking psycho buffs in this video. We have fireproof maxed out. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. Over in charisma, we have 9 and this one can have lone wonder maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% less damage and gain 30% AP regen. We have field surgeon maxed out. Stim packs and right away will now work much more quickly. We have tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over intelligence we have eight and this one can have first aid at two stars stim packs restore 30 percent more lost health we have stabilized maxed out in power armor heavy guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45 percent armor we have batteries included maxed out energy weapon ammo weighs 90 percent less over in agility we have 15 and this one can have action boy maxed out action points are generate 45 percent faster we have enforcer maxed out your shotguns gain a 15 percent stagger chance and a 30 percent chance to cripple limb we have born survivor at one star falling below 20 percent health will automatically use the stim pack once every 20 seconds we have adrenaline maxed out gain a plus 10 percent to max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have dodgy maxed out. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck, we have 14, and this one can have bloody mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. We have one gun army maxed out. Heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple them. We have ricochet maxed out. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies' range damage. No PvP. We have class freak maxed out. The negative effects for mutations are reduced by 75%. And we have starch genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rads and right away will never cure you mutations. These are all the normal perk cards that make up our in-game pepper shaker build and now let's get into our legendary perk cards. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are all the legendary perk cards that make up our in-game pepper shaker build that we're using for the video. Starting off in intelligence, we have that card maxed out, we have endurance maxed out, strength at 3 stars, luck at 3 stars, far flung fireworks at 2 stars, and electric absorption at 1 star. These are all the legendary perk cards and now let's get into my armor and my mutations. Over in the armor, what we're using is a full set of T65 Overeaters power armor and the reason we go with the Overeaters is because it says increases damage reduction up to 6% as you fill your hunger and thirst meters and if you eat a perfect bubble gum your hunger and thirst meters will be filled for a full hour over the mutations these are all the mutations that we're using for the build we have adrenal reaction bird bones eagle eyes egghead healing factor marsupial sky skin and speed a demon this is it though this is my complete in-game pepper shaker loadout now let's get to some demonstrations to begin our demonstrations with our full health pepper shaker build we've made our way to the one the only the level 100 myler queen that goes by the name mrs Krabs. We're hopefully going to cripple her legs, that way she can do absolutely nothing to me. Oh my god, look at that damage. And remember, this is a shotgun, so the closer you are, the more damage you're going to do. But now that she's crippled, we're just going to blast her in the face. Oh my gosh, look at that. She's like, oh god, oh god, oh god, no. There we go, we get the most amount of damage. And just like that, our Myrler Queen is no more. Let me just take down these guys real quick. Get off me, you stupid fool. God dang, I love the pepper shaker. The next targets on our list for the demonstrations are all the vicious super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center. And since we are a full health build, I'm just going to walk on inside here, show you all the damage resistance that we can survive absolutely everything. Then we will obliterate each and every one of these super mutants with their little hounds. Oh yeah, look at that damage resistance. That's just absolutely amazing. We need some fire? Here, let me help you with the fire real quick. Yeah, guys, I do feel sorry for y'all because y'all aren't going to be able to do anything to me. And then if I use, oh, 
I don't even have to use the stim pack. Now we're gonna obliterate this guy's face. There we go. Super duper easy and fast. Oh god, goodbye, you stupid overlords, you warlords. We got a we got a hound. Goodbye, you stupid hound. Oh my gosh, they can always send the power, the pepper shaker. Oh, gotta reload. Sorry about this, sir. Then we're gonna obliterate your chest. Now this is a limb damage, so if we aim at their limbs, hopefully we will get a ton more damage. Um well, if I can hit him in the legs, there we go. I was shooting right in between his legs. Can you believe that? There we go. We were just get into the crotch. Oh my gosh. They're all dying left and right. What about in vats? Can you withstand the power of the pepper shaker in vats? No, 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 he can't. Not at all. Oh, super mutants. I have the pepper shaker. You want to feel the power of the pepper shaker? Are you actually shooting? I don't see no lasers coming out. I see you um, recoiling your gun and stuff like that. But see, okay, there's the lasers. All right, sir. Say goodbye. Our next wasteland monstrosity on the list that wants to fill the wrath of the full health pepper shaker is the one, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Leroy. Oh, Leroy, you look all big and bad. You want to give me a couple smacks real quick? That way we can see how strong you are. All right. You haven't been lifting the weights because that didn't do nothing. A little bit of an earthquake. Oh, oh God. Leroy, I think, I think you're making yourself look like a fool. Yeah, let me shoot you in the legs real quick, sir. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Oh, he's already crippled. Not going to do a dang thing. Oh, you're just going to lay down now? Oh, look at that pose. Oh, my God. Oh, you're lucky you don't have any film, Leroy. You look so good. That's a good pose. We're going to obliterate your face now. There we go. I don't know why he jumps up when I'm shooting him in the face, but that's okay. Leroy cannot withstand the power of the Pepper Shaker. Now we've made our way over to my arch nemesis of Vault 51. We have the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Melinda. And why she shoots me, she's not going to be able to do anything, so I'm just going to take out her guys real quick. Thank God we have electric absorption. It's absolutely amazing. And huh, it's like having a stim pack without having to use a stim pack. Thank you, Linda. We're going to blast you in the face now. Yeah, look at that consecutive damage towards her face. Holy crap. Now we're just going to lock onto her legs real quick. Luckily, she's in power armor, so we can't cripple her really. But we can continue to blast the crap out of her. Goodbye, Linda. You can always send the power of the pepper shaker. And just like that, Linda is no more. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the best heavy gunner builds in all of Fallout 76. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is my full health explosive heavy gunner build. <laughs>